Guys, we're in a new Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over the enemy. We're making him follow us right now. He's not going to attack us yet, he's just going to try to follow us. So, we need a few things. Uh, we're, but we need to make a... Let's do this in, we're going to be doing this in C Sharp this time. I'm going to call this AI. Now, I'm going to open up this AI script. And we're going to get rid of everything in here. We don't actually need anything other than obviously the main class. We need the main class and the two imports using. But we don't need any of these. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a class. Or sorry, we need to make a method called fixed update. It, this one's kind of like the update method. It's, it's still updating. It's just a little bit different. I'm not going to explain it right now. But... Uh, we need a few things. Actually, before we do this, we do need actually a few um, variables. So let's do a public float FPS target distance. This is going to be the distance from the enemy to you. Uh, public float enemy look distance. This is going to be how far he can actually see you. Public float enemy attack distance. This will be how far he can actually hit you, but we're not actually going to do hitting yet. Um, public float enemy movement speed. I'll shoot enemy speed there. We don't really need movement in there. Enemy speed, public transform. FPS target. This is gonna be your player. That's gonna be how he targets you. That's what we're putting in that. We'll show you. That. I'll show you that in a minute. Um. So now in here we need to do FPS target distance is going to be equal to vector three dot distance to f. So it's gonna to be to the FPS target dot its position comma transform dot position. So moving semicolon. So that's gonna be tracking the player and making him follow the player basically. Um so now we're doing if statement. So if um in here we need to do if FPS target distance is less than the enemy look enemy look distance. So basically if we're in the enemy look distance, we're going to do a method called look at player. So if it can see the player, we're going to look at the player, obviously. Uh, but we're going to make that method in a little bit. That's all we need in here. And then we need another if statement. And we're going to say if FPS target distance is less than the attack distance. So if it can attack. Then we are gonna say enemy attack but we haven't made that yet and actually I might not even make that right now so I may actually cancel this part out. I'm gonna make that in a different tutorial. Um, so now I think we're actually done with the fixed update method if I yes we are. So now we need to make the look at player method so we're gonna say um void look at player so this is going to be looking at the player now so in here we need to put quantum noid I actually say that word that's great I think I spelled that right rotation is equal to quantum noid dot look rotation and then in parentheses we need to put the FPS target dot position, so it's tracking the position of the player. I spelled that right. Position minus uh, transform dot position semicolon, and then uh, transform dot position, or sorry, transform dot rotation. is equal to quaternoin dot slurp 
then in parentheses, um, transform dot rotation, comma, rotation, comma, time dot delta time times damping. Did we actually make a damping? No, we didn't. So we need to actually do a damping up here now. Uh, public float damping. Uh, did I miss anything else? I don't think I did. And then semicolon at the end. I do not want it to be spaced there. Really hate that it does that. And then we let's make a shark attack. So void. Not shark attack. I am thinking about my old game that I was making. Um, what do we call this one? Enemy attack. Um, so in enemy attack, we need to um. First of all, has to look the player. So transform zero zero time dot delta time times the enemy movement speed. So this is going to be basically the player running towards the um. Bring towards the player. What do we call this? Enemy speed. That's what we did. Okay, so now if I'm correct, this should be all we need to do for just for following the player. We're not gonna be actually attacking the player yet because we do a ray cast in there and stuff. So right now we're just gonna leave it like this. So now we have to drag the AI onto the capsule. Uh, we need to actually remove that component. I was testing it earlier. Um, so let's put the AI on there. Is the AI on there yet? AI. Um, there's compiling errors. Oh, ooh. What did I do wrong? Oh, I felt position wrong, didn't I? Position. Now, hopefully that fixes most of the errors. Let's see. <laughs> oh my god, I would make way too many errors. Um, there are still errors. There shouldn't be. Okay, um, that shouldn't be it. We need to look right here. Transform. Oh, why do we put transform? It translate. I must have hit it wrong. So transform dot translate. So it's move because it's moving it. Um. Now that should be right. I don't think these matter right here. Let's see. That should fix our errors now. Capsule. Okay, there we go. So um, I actually kind of want that. Okay, so we're gonna do one more thing. That's not gonna be um actual necess necessity. I want the damping to actually just be above this. I want the transform to be at the bottom. That's not obviously something you need to do, but I just kind of like it like that. I want all the inputs to be at the bottom. Uh, so if we go here now, we have to take this FPS first person. And we have to drag it, oops, do not want to change anything there. Drag it onto the FPS target. Um, and now we can set our distances and stuff. Um, probably should have done it in there. Let's say the target distance is going to be 25, look distance will be 50, and then the attack distance is going to be uh, 20. Speed is going to be 5, and damping, let's say it's about 20. That sounds about right to me. Let's make sure my sound's actually off. As you can see, he's trying to follow me, and if I get too far away, he's going to stop trying to follow me. But uh, he's a little bit glitchy right now, obviously. It's not the perfect, but let's run up to him. Let's make him... Oh god, is he going... Okay, so he just ran off the edge of the world. That's interesting. Um, as you see, he's following me. This would be his face. So wherever that is, it's your face. Oh, what's he doing? Hey, buddy. Why are you trying to run off the edge of the world? I think it might be the damping or something. 
Let's try to edit the speed, maybe? Let's say the speed 10. So he has a little bit more speed to go against the dampening. Yeah, that seems a little bit better. We have the damping more like 5. I think that might work better. Oh, no. Wait, yeah, that works better a little bit. I mean, you have to play around with dampening and stuff like that. 50, maybe? Let's just really mess around with it. There we go. So, I, I mean, it's not it's a little bit glitchy. You have to play around with it a little bit. But that's the basics of how to make a uh, enemy follow you. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching.